Evening YouTube fans, here again. And now I should talk about Wooded Owl. Why not this one? It's not like a Buccaneer Adventure film starring my mate Wooded Owl and the beautiful Michelle Pfeiffer in a tacit called Lady Hawk. That's right, Lady Hawk. It's not like a romantic love story but with a difference. Now it starts off you've got this Buccaneer Knight warrior sort of character played by my mate again. Wooded Owl. And you get one lad who's a bit of a tea leaf. You've seen the actor before. Think of Julius Day Off. Was it Bug yeah, Julius Day Off, I think it was called. About a lad who basically bunked off stool. Well, he's actually in this in his big break. He escapes, goes underwater, and he gets away from this dungeon. One broad, he meets into Wooded Owl, who's like a knight, sort of warrior. With a difference, he's looking for the woman of his genes, that being Michelle Pfeiffer. Now I've got to be honest, I've seen myself five in this and even when she had long hair and short hair, back then she's beautiful. I mean beautiful, even now myself five will looks damn good and in this she looks, she's gorgeous. And it's a good story to this because what it is, what it is, what did I want? If you remember the idea of Ron, I think at midnight he turns into a wolf, right? And in the morning, myself five turns into a, a rock, right? But if they go and meet one another, she'll turn into a rock, so he'll never have to run with his teens, or he will turn into a wolf. Because what it is, they have a toast, put on them both. So if one hour goes to myself five for the woman of his teens, she'll turn into a rock. And if she goes anywhere near him, he'll turn into a wolf. So they'll never get to meet one another, they'll turn into animals. And it's a toast by his evil pope, who put a toast on them. But a choice on them. So it's kind of a sad story because Wooded Owl get, never gets to meet the woman of his teens, being by myself five for, and she'll never get to meet him. Now, it's one of these films, if you're going into it, because it's going to be sword fights and dragons and monsters, you know, that sort of error. <coughs> you're going to be very, very disappointed in the film. And you think, oh, it's not really that. And it's one of them films, if I watched it the first time, I'd be like, it's not really that exciting, this. But after watching it with different eyes, it is a damn good film. It is a damn good film. And I love the film Lady York. Shot in 1985, it's a dudden. It's a dudden. And again, it's based on the olden times, just like the same name in Wooden Hour was doing Fess and Blood. But this one I would say is more fancy. -ty. You know, it's more fancy. -ty. It's got knights in it and pincers and all that. But I do think it's a good performance by Wooden Hour. I think it's a good performance. I like the little lad in it. He played in Boozy Stay Off. That's the name of the film. And he does a good performance and all. I think they all do a blinding good performance. There's a bit in it with myself five is running around at midnight and you see these animals getting killed and she goes on panic mode. There's a bit in it where the lad offers to help Wooden Owl and says, well, what if I turn it down to you? And Wooden Owl throws a sword and says, okay, I get the idea. So I kind of like that. I like it. It's a dudden. So yeah, Lady Ark. What can I say about it? It's a dudden. And so on. I mean, it's a dudden. And, you know, it's the same diet. So it's giving us lethal weapon. You're giving us, let me think. Du -du -du -du. Bacon with tats. And you're just the old moon. He's given us a lot, he's had no longer with us, may he rest in peace. He's given us this date film, being Lady Hawk. It's a very rare film to find on DVD, and you can find it, but it's an hard one to find, which is surprising. It's very surprising, it's this was a very popular film back in 1985. And I do remember a mate of mine, he was talking to me about the film. I mean, it was a really good film, it was a good performance by Wooden Hour. I thought, mm, I'll give it a go, because there's a lot of films I like about Wooden Hour. Did you did you not see me review a lot of his films? So I saw it, I thought, eh, but then I watched it again, I thought, oh, good film. It is a good film, it has a really good story to it. So what happens is, Wooden Owl, right, the sad scene where he goes to his day, she turns into the ark, and he turns into a wolf, and they never meet one another. But then somehow they break the chores. They break the chores, so he manages to get the woman of his genes. He becomes Wooden Hour. He takes to kick the shit out of that evil piece. The piece basically goes for him. Wooden Hour gets the better. Also, sword. Kills the evil piece. Who's that, like, you know, into Black Matter and all that. And kills the main villain. Kills the main villain. 
and gets the woman of his dreams, that being by paid again by Michelle Pfeiffer. And it's a dudden. I mean, it's a dudden. So it's a book in here. I say it's a bit of a love story. I say, okay, it's a bit of stupid that, so a little bit of fancy to you, but again, if you're going into it for monsters and dragons and three legged fucking weird things, you're going to be disappointed. It's not that type of film. What you are getting is a good love story. It's normally I'm not a lover for that, but this one I do like. You're getting a good fantasy sort of offensive film. You're getting very good actors, again, by, by the late Wooded Hour, May Rest, and the beautiful Michelle Pfeiffer. And it's a dudder. I mean, it's a buccaneer offensive film. It's everything you like, really. A little bit where Wooded Hour uses a bow arrow, which I believe he was trained to use it for the film. So there's a bit of a shooting bow arrows here, there, and everywhere. There's good bits where he's using the sword and he's fighting knights here, there, and everywhere. It's, if he was trained to do that for the film, he's definitely done a good scene there. There's good bits. He definitely knows how to angle a sword in a sword fighting scene. You know I mean, I know it's all that scene and all that. But the way he raised the sword about and he's slicing knights here and he's slicing knights there, it's a bit of a good scene. There's a good scene and it's a good hour of his time. So again, so in 1985, that is Lady Art. Check it out, it's a doo-doo. Into then, I'll see you soon for some more movies, more movie reviews, some more Wooded Hour films, and more things on the way. Into then, be smart, be safe, and I'll see you later for some more stuff on the way.